Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you some more Evelyn top action. I think she's actually pretty strong as long as the enemy top laner isn't ranged. She's got a lot of good poke. You can go teleport or ignite. We went electrocute, sun impact, eyeball with ravenous on top of biscuits because biscuits are OP and time warp tonic. Every time we use our corruption potion, we're gonna be moving faster and we can take really good trades. It's gonna be super, super strong. It is a Kled, so we'll have to mind our trades with him, but we should be able to poke him down a bit. And when he steps up, we'll go in and apply our Electrocute like that. You do kind of have to push the wave on Evelyn because of the way your Q works, but that's actually kind of good for you in the early game. You can take really good trades. I used a Corruption Potion there to stay on top of him. I'm gonna walk that into him, he's gonna back off. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this. Your normal trade is just using your auto attacks and Qs and making sure you're like syncing them up to last hit the minions properly. Uh, I wanted that to turn around and hit the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and go ward. If you have this deep of a push on them, this is like a 10 second window for you to go get something deep. Warwick took the wrong keystone too, so. Better time than ever. I think we can actually gank this guy. He's up really far. Even if he's level 3, we have our charm. We're going to auto attack him. Hit him with our Qs. We're going to ignite him. Kill him. We're going to use our other corruption potion. Try to stay on top of this guy. And we may not kill him, but we got something out of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right, we got him. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna have to go back top lane. And we still have our biscuits. You generally don't want to use your biscuits until you're at least below half health or half mana. They heal you more HP and mana the lower you are. So we're getting pretty far ahead. We're getting there. We'll try to get as much of that wave as we can. Missed, missed out on a few of them. I think Clyde probably just backed. Nope. He's chilling. Bop him with an E. My wave's actually going to end up pushing here. Because my minis are reinforcing first. I want to reset so I can spend my gold. Generally, you want to back me. You can afford a full Hextech alternator. So... 1050 gold is your general goal. If I shove this, he won't be able to all in me. Or he shouldn't be able to. I'll hit a potion. He doesn't have ignite. I don't think he can actually kill me. Because if I have the minion advantage, it just makes it... Ooh, he might actually kill me here. Nope. Biscuit's OP. He really needs ignite. My pass is going to heal me up a lot here too. That's really annoying. My passive, as you can see, is going to get me going back up. And nah, that didn't work. Got him. That was a huge gank from Zach. Well played. That was huge. Huge, huge, huge. Kled landed a few nice cues in a row. Put us in a bad spot. Since we had our biscuit, we... Just, we're barely able to stay alive. We finally get an opportunity to back, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to keep backing up. I don't know if he's going to try to, like, cheese a bush. It's a little risky to just stand there. They get so much movement speed off of TPs, they can just cheese you down. Go ahead, pick up our Hextech Alternator, and uh, we'll grab some boots, and we'll grab this. You can get an early Dark Seal, but... With the changes to Dark Soul, it doesn't synergize with Corruption Potion like it used to, so you don't... It's just one of those things. If you're really far ahead, you can pick it up, otherwise I wouldn't bother. Just really focus on getting that Hextech Alternator early. It's going to make your trades a lot stronger. It has a high base damage. 40 second cooldown. Your Electrocute is about a 20 second cooldown, so every two Electrocutes, you'll be getting that extra damage. Kind of freeze waves on Evelyn. 
you, just, you can't really poke the enemy if you're gonna freeze it is the thing. It's level six now. I'm trying to proc my electrocute on him. I accidentally just wasted a biscuit. We were basically full HP, full mana. Decent poke. Moving really fast on these corruptions. He's dead. Dude, we were just moving so fast because of the time warp tonic. If you're going to play Evelyn Top, make sure you're copying my runes exactly. Because if you're just taking random runes that you think might be good, it won't be. <laughs> you really need to have biscuits and you really need time warp tonic. Otherwise, just, you can't do near as much as this. Oh, wow. We missed cannon. Feels bad. We'll stay for a turret play. a lot more CS than I would like to. I'm gonna go kill Victor. I think we can kill him together. I have enough mana if I land my charm. Nice. That's worth. That's worth, worth, worth. You can grab wave. I'm going to go ahead and reset. I'll grab a blasting wand. Actually, I'll pick up an early sork shoes. Early sorks are really good if you're getting opportunities to roam. Since we have lead on the cled, we're getting a lot of opportunities to go mid instead. So we'll just go for the sorks. Kled didn't finish shoving in the wave, he got scared. He doesn't know if I went back up there, but I'm out of mana, so we sh kind of should have known. Just watch your Tom Kench top video. Is it fair to call me evil? Yeah, man. Anyone who plays Lethal Tempo, Tom Kench is a little evil. Lethal Tempo, Tom Kench is so much fun, though. He's gonna miss cannon for this. What are you gonna do, Clyde? You don't have your cue. No! Oh, Jesus! Oh, he flashed, damn. That's unfortunate. He can see me too. He's just hiding. Dang. We could probably just wait for Warwick right now. Probably stepped over a ward, I'd imagine. Should come to his red buff, yep. Why are we... Why don't, why don't we go for this guy? Auto-attack. Wow, we just tapped him, man. We auto attack him first, that way we can use our easy auto-attack resetter. Is there any mana in the river? Are there any fruits to eat? Ah, oh, there's no fruit. I gotta just reset. That sucks. I hate resetting this much. Kled's shoving the lane really slow. He didn't get a team at rush or he didn't go for bombing rush either. So his, his clear speed's really garbage. He's also trying not to die. So a lot of the times he'll kind of half shove the wave and then back off, but he really needs to crash it into my turret to make me miss more golden XP. I'm still gonna get three of these in terms of XP. 
I'm also really huge. I can easily carry this game off of the lead I've built. Nice. You see how I'm kind of landing my Q and auto at the same time? It's almost like a new new Q smite. Where if you time the damage together, you're, it's hard for your minions to out damage you. Because everyone's autos and Qs by themselves don't do much damage. But together, ape strong, you know? That's the Evelyn autos and Qs. I think I'm dead. Oh, uh, well, where's Warwick at? He used his E a bit early. Oh, we just used our passive deal back up. Damn, how deep is this guy going? That was pretty funny. Pretty funny. We also got Kled's flash there. Kled flashed under turret, caused me to take a bunch more turret shots. Uh, Warwick, he was kind of just using his E too early. He, he needs to wait till he's in auto range. He's basically approaching me at faster speeds than I'm moving and then he, he's preemptively using his E which is allowing me to basically time out the damage reduction aspect of it. So he's really not even getting the best part of it. Kled, it's your turn big boy. Corruption potion speed up after we drop W and then he backed off immediately. Dude, this guy is so scared. Wow, I just missed that. Feels bad, guys. That's not what we wanted. We're missing a lot of CS, but at least we have lots of KP. Clutch shouldn't have R. I think I can block him off. Look at that damage, guys. I'm waiting for my Corruption Potion to wear off so I can go in on him. Even though I missed my flash like an idiot. He's dead. I had my Corruption Potion burn on him plus Ignite, and I'm a level up on him, so that extra base damage is just going to make the difference there. I can't believe I missed my flash there. Feels bad. I gotta just kind of get out of here. I'm out of mana. There we go. Hopefully that dumps. I'm just missing so much HP. I'm gonna go ahead and go Lich Bane second. Lich Bane's really nice for the movement speed. Awesome. Our ultimate's up. Now's a good time to look for a roam. We're also missing some Ravenous Hunter stacks. We haven't gotten the Samira Thresh yet. Samira's really fed. I don't know if we can get her. Only moving at 380. It seems kind of slow for having tier 2 boots. Feels very slow. Kled's top. Warwick's top. I could probably intercept the Warwick and kill him. I just stepped on a pink. I don't think Warwick's paying attention though. <sighs> Down. Harold's going ham, boy. Glad they did pink here.
This Thresh doesn't seem too happy. He seems pretty sad about what's happening right now. I keep wanting to find Roams at the same time. Clud keeps coming back to lane. I'll take the turret and then I'll roam. It's a little bit safer that way. That way if the enemies ever do come back, they don't have anything to run to. And then I can go pressure the enemy's other outer turrets. Generally what you're looking for if you're winning a lane. Take turret, leave lane. Night Harvester versus Rocket Belt on Evelyn. On Evelyn jungle, you want Rocket Belt generally. Or I guess Rocket Belt or Night Harvester on Evelyn is still just fine. They're both really high value. It's hard to go wrong with either on Eve jungle. On Eve top, I would, I would go for Night Harvester a little bit more. Unless it's Aatrox. If it's like I feel like Aatrox, Pro Hexac Rocket Belt would be really good for dodging his Qs on Eve top. Crashing a fat wave up there right now. He's gone. I think I can get these guys. Even if they're under turret, I should be able to catch up. <laughs> he should have just turned. Because he had to blow everything just to get away. Oh, she dashed to Warwick. Shits. <laughs> she dashed back. I don't know why they let Samira do that. She has a better dash than Ezreal. Set. I'll pick up my Lich Bane. I'll pick up a Dark Seal. I'm really fed. I'm clicking on the fountain and it's not letting me step over there. Look. Look where my mouse is. Look where my mouse is. Look where my mouse is. It's right here. Look where Evelyn's going. <laughs> oh my god. Come on now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you, when you click on fountain, it just sends you down the lane. It's OP. I don't know why it's like that. Oh, what do we have here? Get him, boys! <laughs> Dude, Evelyn top's actually so strong. It's actually pretty decent, if, as long as you know what you're playing it against. I really like Evelyn top. Evelyn top corruption potion and in the night harvester lich bane. Very spicy. I kind of prefer to Evelyn jungle in a lot of ways. Evelyn Top gets a lot of free resources off of minions and she doesn't have people invading her. Oh, GG guys, that's all there is. If you enjoyed this Evelyn video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and come chat and chill live on stream. We stream five days a week. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.